Who is this character that we're seeing? 今のキャラクターは誰でしょうか。これあのライバルですね。あの今作あのプレイヤーもそうですけど、主人公もそうですけど、あのピカチュウ版の当時のそれとはちょっと違うキャラクターを登場させてます。So this is actually the rival in these games, and you'll see that it's uh, different than the rival that appeared in uh, Pokemon Yellow version, which uh, these games are based off of. And there's a lot of other differences in the characters as well. He is a rival, but he is very scared. 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 But you'll see, even though it, we're technically calling it your rival,、uh, he's actually quite kind to you.、Uh, of course, he has other personality traits, like he gets scared very easily. And I think you're going to have fun seeing、uh, in which situations he gets scared at. Well, of course, the character is a new character, 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 a new character. So we've added some new events to the games compared to the, the originals and also changed up the characters a bit to make them kind of feel fresh. That's great. Well, Teresa, since we just went through Viridian Forest and had a few battles, maybe we should go to the Pokemon Center and heal our Pokemon. That's probably a good call. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty familiar location for fans, I think. I like how Pikachu jumps off your shoulder. カウンターに乗るというのがすごい変わりですね。はい。あと今お気づきの方いらっしゃったかもしれないですけど、ドット絵でちょっとあの表現していたりと。You may have seen in the, the Pokemon Center, we made sure to keep the original pixel art, not the original, but the pixel art for the Pokemon、uh, appearing on the screen there. A game for Gorilla loves the pixel art. Even if we go to 3D, we still want to keep them in the game. That's right. あとこうやってあの街の中にもこうポケモンと一緒にこういる人がいますね。You see lots of、uh, residents of the town walking around living with their Pokemon. Yeah, the town looks great.、うん、本当に街があのすごい出来がいいですね。<笑>はい。建物もまああの再度やっぱりデザイナーが全部設計し直してますね。And all the buildings been redesigned by all of our、uh, graphic designers. And you were mentioning the townspeople with their Pokemon.、The その村人とポケモンがあちこちにいますけれども、はい、This is a... これ、<笑>ヤドン、ヤドンですね。That's a slow poke, as you can see. 今まで、まあ、そのピカチュウベースなんですけど、こういったイベントはもともとはなかったものですね。So these kind of little events we've peppered throughout the game that weren't in the original Pokemon Yellow version. まあ、特にあのこうしてフィールドに一緒にポケモンがいるっていうのがまあ一緒にみんなで生活してる感じっていうのが出せてまあ非常に楽しめると思います。Part of this was to really increase that feeling of humans and Pokemon living together in the same world. It's also very interesting that the, the world has encouraged for the player to interact with the world because you never know what's going to happen. It's really exciting. まあそうですね、あとはこの今回の世界が本当にプレイヤーがいろんなものとインタラクションをしてどういう結果を出るかっていうのは楽しみですね、うん、そうですねちょっと今、ヤドン<笑>ヤドンらしい<笑> Pretty slow poke like thing to do there, I think <笑> Well, perhaps we should、uh, take the advice of our rival and head toward the gym Yeah, sure, that sounds great ではあのライバルのアドバイスを受けて、はい、ジムの方に向かっていきましょうか。はい。すごい。ここは今度のジムですね。This is the gym, obviously. Ah, the gyms have really changed in design. ジムのデザインはかなり変わりましたね。はい。あの元々のベースは一緒なんですけど、あのなんていうんですかね、よりこう。この場所にジムがあったときにみんなこう観客がやっぱりいるんじゃないかとか、えー、少しこう膨らませていますこの他にもあのジムによってはまあオリジナルの、えー、まあピカチュウバージョンとは違うジムもあったりします When making, yeah, when making these games on、uh, Switch, you know, bringing the, the, the region to the, the Switch games, we took the original gyms as a base, but then thought what we could add on to it to kind of enrich the visuals and everything. We felt that, maybe for this gym, you'd probably be some spectator seats, but depending on which gym you go to, it may even be completely different from the Pokemon Yellow version. So the guy was asking you if you had a、uh, water or grass type Pokemon. And so we're getting close to Brock. 
who appears in this game. Takeshi ni bukatte imas kere domo. Ma ne, iwa to ieba Takeshi desu yo ne. It was rock types, you know, it's all about Brock, right? Yes, and we, we do see that we have some, uh, some very fun lines from the past game as well. Kako no soft kara no serifu mo. Hai, kore wa ne. Some of those lines you really just can't change. They're too iconic. I'd be sad if they weren't there. So this you know, I know, not that I know, so on this, so on this, that's right. Jimmy Tachimo scooted the party. これ消せないだろうっていうのがいっぱいありますんで。Not just for the fans, but as creators ourselves, you know, we're making the games like, yeah, we can't get rid of this. We got to keep it as it was. So let's. Uh, oh, nice. Hmm. All right, you're doing No pressure. Hmm. Yeah, but if you're battling through it, you know, it's handy, isn't it? It's nice to be uh, yeah. be able to battle together. The other really cool thing too is that oh. not just with the ba trainer battles, but also the Pokemon encounters, you could feel everything, every interaction. Um, through the Joy-Con, um, it's really satisfying and really immersive experience. So, this ne, yahari, ano, ma, trainer battle dake jana kute, donna interaction de mo, yappari, eto, Joy-Con no shindo de, taikan dekimasu. De, so, de, sugoi kimochi in this ne. Hai, ano, bru bru to, wazo, uke to toki to kamo, bru bru te suru de, ano, kore mo, Joy-Con no, yappari, kino no. And we really thought that the HD rumble in the Joy-Con is a really cool technology. We work, put a lot of care into making it feel good. Like when, when there's maybe you get attacked, it rumbles a little bit, and it, it feels like you know you're getting hit almost. Well, 本当に Switch の性能全部活かしてますね。Really using all of the features of Nintendo Switch. And here is Brock. He made it. 皆さんおなじみの Brock that everyone is familiar with, I think. I think at this point we kind of want to move topics, switch gears, and talk about something else. That's right. So, では、あの実演プレイは、えっとちょっと休憩をして、えっと別のトピックに移しますけれども。So we've been playing with the Joy-Con, but of course the game is also compatible with a special new controller, the Pokeball Plus. 今までは、あの Joy-Con で遊んでいましたけれども、えっと実はあのもう一つの特別なコントローラー対応してますよね。えっとモンスターボールプラスですね。はい。And the Pokeball Plus, it acts as a Joy-Con. It has all the functionality. It's got a, a control stick、uh, that you can press down,、um, and even a button on the top. でまあ本当にあの Joy-Con そのものの機能も入ってますし、操作スティックもあって、それも押し込むことができますし、上にボタンがありますよね。これあの振動もまたこう特別な振動になっていてよりあの振動力が強いと。You actually see that the rumble in the Pokeball Plus is even stronger than a typical Joy-Con, so it's a kind of a special experience. で今回あのジョイコンをあジョイコンじゃないこのモンスターボールプラスをあの買った時にですね最初にこう何にも入ってないモンスターボールってちょっと寂しいなと思ってもっとワクワクしたいなと思ったんであの最初にえちょっと何が何入れたらいいかなと思う。なんかポケモン入れておきたいなと思ったんですけど、まあいろいろ考えてあのミュウを最初に入れて、なのでお店で買って家に帰るまでこうミュウが急遽言ってるっていう状況になりますんで。We were making the Pokeball Plus. We knew we were gonna, you know, it was gonna come out, but we felt that if it was empty when you bought it, you feel kind of lonely. So we were thinking of Pokemon to put inside of the Pokeball Plus, and players first get it, and deciding which Pokemon to put in there. We came up, we just came down to Mew, you know, the mythical Pokemon Mew. That'd be the most appropriate. So when players go to the store and they're on their way back home with it, they'll be able to kind of hear Mew cry from inside of the ball, and it'll be an interesting experience. That's right. So then you can transfer that Mew into your game,、um, and you can also put other Pokemon into the Pokeball and take them with you when you go out on a walk. And and then based on your movement and your activity,、uh, you can then get presents in the game when you bring the Pokemon back. 
でまああのおっしゃったようにこの中にポケモンが入ることができてでまあミウはえとソフトに転送することもできますしでソフトからの別のポケモンもどのポケモンでもここに転送することができて散歩に出てえとその動きをベースにあの戻ってくるときにまた何かプレゼントがもらえますよね。そうですねちょっといいことがありますけどもあの相棒こ今相棒入ってると思うんですけどそうですねはい泣くかな Maybe hear your partner cry out here. <laughs> and I have to, I'm shaking it up close to my mic so everyone can hear. Mic no chikak ni futte. Mite ni na zanga kikoe mas. But what I really like about the Pokeball Plus controller is the weight,、uh, the size, and actually it just it feels、mm. so good. このサイズとこの重さとこの表面の感触が、うん、そうなんですよ感触いいんですよねそうですよね、はい、yeah, the, the feel of the Pokemon Plus is really nice でこの LED もいろんな色になるんであのポケモンのちょっとこうタイプというかあれですねポケモンのちょっとカラーに合わせて光ったりもしますんで、うん、the, the LED light that you can see at the, where the, the, the joystick is actually lights up in a really wide variety of colors and it kind of corresponds with the type、うん、of the Pokemon that's inside of it Uh, and, but then, of course, you can also connect it to your cell phone and use it as a Pokemon Go Plus and play Pokemon Go、uh, and interact with Pokestops and catch Pokemon just using this without taking your phone out as well. The Kaitai Nimo Setsukuste, the Musen de Setsukuste, the Pokemon Go Plus to Ste, Skyrokotomo, the Kimasune, and the Pokemon Go to Lenke Sruto, and the Pokemon Go Plus. まあ先ほどあの協力プレイを見せたんですけれども、はい、それ以外に、えー、と実際にあのプレイヤーと,、えー、とバトルとか、はいえー、とポケモンの交換もできますよね、はい、あの今回あの通信交換、えー、についてあの映像をご用意したので、えー、それをお見せしつつ。They've actually brought a video to show off some of the,、uh, the Link、uh, trade and battle aspects. Great, let's take a look at the video. Let's take a look at the video. Yes, this is this. Wireless. This is local and internet. This is the single battle, double battle, and the whole thing. As you can see, you can use either local wireless or connect over the internet to play,、uh, do link trades or do single battle and double battle、uh, battles against、uh, friends and other players. So, I'm going to play Pokemon. 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 ピカチュウ EV 不思議だねって決めてですね、えー、交換することができますね。So you tell your friend, okay, pick Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and、uh, Eevee, and then we'll、uh, be able to connect and trade together or battle together. で、ポケモンを選んで、えー、交換画面になります。You're able to go into the trading sequence. よ。バイバイロコン。See you later, Voltix. You can see that、uh, animation is kind of reminiscent of the、uh, maybe the link cable that you had to use to trade Pokemon back then. We just kind of digitized that into a cool trading sequence. Yeah, we, we just have good memories, fond memories of trading with that link cable. <laughs> Great. But of course, not only can you trade Pokemon with other players, but you can also connect with Pokemon Go and you can send Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, correct? でこれはもちろんあの、まあ、他のプレイヤーとポケモンの交換はできますけれども、はい、それ以外にも、えー、とポケモン Go に接続して、はいえー、と
ポケモン GO からポケモンを、えー、とレッツゴーピカチュウレッツゴーイービーに配信することができますよね、はい、そうですねあの送ることができるようになってますあのー、まあ GO パークという場所がありますのでそちらも見てみたいと思います Yeah, there's actually a location that facilitates that called Go Park, and hopefully we can show off a little bit of what that is. ここはあの昔のサファリゾーンがあったピカチュウ版だとサファリゾーンなんですよね。Some Pokemon Yellow version there was the Safari Zone, but Go Park actually is in that same location and replaces it. ここで、えー、ケモンの Go Park の方に行くことができます。And from there at the reception, you can choose which Go Park to go into. でこの場所であのア,ロアローラの姿を含めた関東地方のポケモンが、えー、レッツゴピカチュウレッツゴイブに持ってくることができます。You can bring from Pokemon Go any of the Kanto region Pokemon, including their Alolan variants,、uh, and transfer them to the game, and they'll appear in Go Park here. This looks like a, a fun place for the Pokemon. ポ,ポケモンにとってはとても楽しいところみたいですね。あのいろんなここで行動しますので、あのなんですかね、こう。家にポケモンがいる、えー、まあテレビでずっとその映像を映していくだけでも楽しいと思います。Yeah, and you'll see them just running around doing little fun movements in here. So I think maybe just using it as like a screen saver for your TV it could be kind of fun to see the Pokemon moving around in your house almost. And so once you've sent a Pokemon from Pokemon Go here to Go Park,、uh, then how do you bring it into the game? で、ポケモン Go からここの Go Park に転送した後に、えっ、ー、とゲーム。Welcome back to IGN Live at E3 2018. We've still got a full day ahead with a live demo of Just Cause 4 in a bit and a look at Hitman 2 after that. But first, break down all the news from the Nintendo Direct and Treehouse Live. Casey DeFritis, <laughs> Philip Mewson, and Per Schneider. Now, before we dig into this, I want to check in with Twitter to see what's trending. What do you guys think is likely to be on the top of everyone's mind coming out of the conference? Oh, that'd be、uh, Smash Brothers? Smash Brothers?、Uh, have think, you thought about that one? I think that's a good bet. Definitely your game. I've、oh, got. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to. I'm happy to announce my partnership with Nintendo. I've got a hunch. I know what is trending, but just to be sure, let's check Twitter. Smash Brothers has obviously taken Twitter by storm, and following that, oddly enough, is Reggie. Yep. And then、hmm. Snake. So my question is,、oh. when is Reggie coming to Smash Brothers? It's got to happen eventually, right? It's got to happen. It's just an assist, assist trophy or something. It's got to.、No. Yeah. yeah. That'd be amazing.、Yep. All right. After the Super Smash Brothers heavy direct. Drifter had this to say. The level of care and understanding put into each character in the new Super Smash Bros. is amazing. The roster is enormous, but no character seems redundant or rushed. Nintendo could end their conference now and I would be happy. Well, that's exactly what they did. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, guys, give me your、uh, impressions on、uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That was my, my I mean, what, what, what he said.、Uh, It, it was just like this bam, 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 one character after the other. First of all, the fact that they're all in there is amazing. And、yeah. having Snake and Ice Climbers back is so cool. But like each character has this little quirk, this little、uh, level of detail. People made fun of the Oli Mars,、uh, you know, glass helmet cracking, but like the limit break, all the different、yeah. gauges, the display、yeah. on Rob, it's insane. Who has, who has this much time to、there's、make this game? So much care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's so much detail like placed within every single fighter. I mean, you could see they spent like, what, 15 minutes? And it's just talking down like every single character and how they work, what they've added, what's new. So, I mean, there's a lot to process here. And、yeah. not even just aesthetic changes. They, they've changed some things with gameplay that actually make a really big difference. Like, they're bringing back Pokemon Trainer, but they're letting you play as just one Pokemon for the entire time, which I know is something a lot of people wanted to do when that character was first introduced in Brawl.、Mm -hmm. So, it seems like they were really listening to the players、yep. and what they wanted. And... And、Maybe did their best. Yeah, and speed. I mean, there, there are things like Link has a remote bomb, right? They take、mm -hmm. kind of yeah, from Breath, from of, the Breath of the Wild with the outfit. But like,、uh, even like the, the, you know, the Final Smash, like a lot of changes were made to speed the game up a little bit.、Mm -hmm. You know, they were inferring that 
by the way, seeing the game load, it's very fast. Yeah. It's like we forgot that we're going back to cartridge now. And yeah. so, you know, there's there's a very short um, lag only between the end of a match and when R Ridley stands there clapping <laughs> with her creepy hands. It's awesome. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you were saying on the pre-show, uh, people really want Ice Climbers back. Well, they're back yep. because every character Everything. that's ever been in Smash Brothers is here. Yep. What are some of the new characters they show? We got to see the Inklings. Yeah. Uh, there's like eight, um, eight variations. Ridley. And of course, Ridley's yeah. a big one. I was getting yep. to that, but yeah. Sorry. Not uh, just an assist trophy anymore. No, no, yeah. yeah. Ridley's a playable character. Yep. And they showed off a very cool uh, Ridley amiibo. Yep. Mm -hmm. For that yeah. as well. And a new Inkling girl amiibo as well. Yep. With the Smash base, you know, the Inkling uh, uh, characters from Pl Splatoon have to. I'm sorry, you're smiling at me because I obsess over them. Oh, I was no, just going to say, it's the Smash series now, so we can finally have a set. Well, this is the perfect game for someone who has a complete Amiibo collection. Yeah, or like likely. yourself. <laughs> yeah, I do have every one ever made. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, um, the, uh, there, there are all these, all these changes, uh, including uh, the renaming of the Echo characters, right? So now they, they call um, characters that look very different, not just outfit, that look different, like Dark uh, Pit, for example. They call them Echo characters because yeah. they share the moveset. And we got Daisy added as the mm -hmm. brand new one obviously from Super Mario Land right yes. first game yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't see a new Donk City level there's something called a new pork city yeah I don't know what that's about anybody <laughs> it's delicious. Um, that's a, that was earthbound wasn't it is that earthbound yeah. it's delicious <laughs> I haven't had lunch yet, Pear. Yeah, <laughs> we can't bring up food. What about that release date? It's later than we thought. Yeah, I did not expect. Yeah, so it's, I'm going to eat my own words now, <laughs> apparently. It's not <laughs> launching alongside the online service. It's, in fact, launching December 7th, yeah. uh, which is after Pokemon. So we know, mm -hmm. uh, you know Nintendo's big game for November is Pokemon, and the big game at the end of the year right. in December is obviously Smash. So... Um, at least we're going to have a full-blown online service ready to go um, as soon as Smash launches, so that's exciting. Uh, surprisingly enough, though, they didn't mention too much or anything at all about the online service. Exactly. Or, or nothing. Yeah, or nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Or so. even online oh. for Smash, right? Exactly. Like there yeah. was a, a little line saying we'll talk about yeah. it later, but mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess if we were expecting this game to be out in just a few months mm -hmm. in September, the fact that it's coming in December means I, I think they'll uh, be like doling out mm -hmm. more and more updates on the yeah. game as the year goes along, right? More characters, mm -hmm. information on the online service. Is there more to say? say? I mean, we haven't well. seen single player, whether there, there's a return to yeah. kind of classic single player modes. We haven't seen that. Yeah. Eight player is in. We saw that already. But yeah. is there more left to talk about? That was exhaustive. Yeah. 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 It was a crazy amount. Honestly, when they started that uh, trailer for Ridley, I originally thought it, you know, unpopular opinion, but I thought they were bringing back Subspace and Mystery. And Mystery? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. honestly, it wasn't that challenging, but it was really fun to see all of those Nintendo characters interact in new and interesting ways. Like seeing Star Fox fight Rayquaza, it was really cool for me. Yeah. And that's, I want to see something like that again. And yeah. All of the characters together in some crazy story mode. Yeah, subspace in particular, I know it's not necessarily the most popular mode in Smash, but I thought it was a lot of fun, and I know that it does have its fan base, so I do hope that we get some sort of single-player mode returning uh, to Smash Smash Brothers Ultimate. God, That's it feels more so than weird just a tournament. Saying, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It feels weird but good saying the full name. Well, yeah, know? what do you think about the name? Super like Smash Brothers SSBU. Ultimate. SSBU, it's hard to say, but uh, uh, I, I think it's cool. I mean... Is, is there something bigger than Ultimate after that? Or is this <laughs> infinity? The this is, yeah, infinity. <laughs> yeah. With infinite characters. Well, yeah. they're, bringing, oh, no. they're bringing back every character. I like it. Do you think there will still be several new characters added? 100%. Beyond what they showed today? Mm -hmm. yeah. 100%. Yeah. I mean, again, it's like it's all about creating a game that players play for a long time, and that's key for their online, their health of their online uh, community, right? I mean, they will definitely release DLC and, and other characters. We've seen Nintendo show amazing support to games like Splatoon and even ARMS. Uh, so there's no doubt in my mind that they're going to continue to support Smash like way past po uh, launch, you know, with new characters, new levels, <laughs> uh, constant tweaks and updates just to make the game even better. Because this game is going to have a very, very long life, especially within the competitive community. Mm -hmm. Ridley looks like Alien. Exactly. In the scene, like, right? Like, like the, just like the, Alien Queen, right? It's such like it, it looks so wrong on some of the stages. It's really they were, cool. Um, they were talking about it on Treehouse how difficult it was to get Ridley into Smash because of how big yeah. she is. Yeah. But I think they did a great job. Yeah. I mean, it she's smaller really cool. than you would expect yes. to be in a Metroid game. Yeah. 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 But yeah, it still looks Bowser. very cool yeah. and imposing. So, you guys gonna try and play Smash Brothers here, here at E3? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want you definitely. so much. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, which, char which character are you gonna start with? 
if, well, if all those characters were available, Ridley. you'd go with Ridley. Yeah, of course. All Gotta of try them. the new stuff. Yeah. I'm actually gonna start with Inkling uh, Girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I'm really excited to test out that uh, that move set. It just looks really interesting, and I love how the ink just gets everywhere, mm -hmm. even in Smash Brothers. Uh, the new Splatoon stage looks really cool. Uh, which one was it again? Was it? Uh, uh, it was uh, Moray Towers. Moray Towers. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I, I love that you have to refill on ink too. They yeah. actually put the Splatoon mechanics into it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really exactly. cool. Yeah. I would want to uh, try out Pichu again since it's been yeah. Melee. So I, they mentioned that Pichu hurts himself. Uh, when it uses the electric moves, but in melee, um, it also did more damage with its electric moves. So I think that high risk, high reward might be interesting to experiment with again. Yeah, I can't wait to see how they balance this because there seems like there's so much going on with each fighter. Um, you know, everyone has different abilities, different moves, and they all seem like uh, they could either work really well against each other or it could be just a total crazy mess on the battlefield, especially with eight players. But I'm sure it's going to be eight, eight players, players is always a mess. Eight <laughs> player inkling is going to be crazy. You yeah, know with all the colors going. Yeah, but it's uh, I mean, ultimate is such a fitting title. Like it really seems like the ultimate fan wish come true. Every yeah. character, and then so many stages too. We haven't seen yeah. all of them, obviously, but uh, stages that were previously locked in the 3DS version, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's a little, like a lot of spirit stuff tracks, right? Yep, spirit tracks was shown. Yeah, uh, different versions of Battlefield mm -hmm. yep, that are themed. And that is really final cool. Final destination. Yeah, yeah, that every single stage now will have a Battlefield mode as well as Omega. Yeah, which is. Really neat. Yeah. I gotta say, I never thought I would ever see Snake return I think to Smash yeah, Brothers. That's awesome. That's yeah. really exciting yep. news, right? Yeah. Uh, and I liked the Breath of the Wild stage they showed, which might. Oh show up yeah, here the um, one yeah. of the towers. Yeah. Yep. With the old man in the back, he's yeah. like, uh, yep. you he's, know, just <laughs> he's like air hang gliding around <laughs> in the background while you're playing, and then there's a defo deformation in City. that stage too. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's yeah. Earthbound. Yeah. It, I don't know what man. that's from. Oh, I uh, love the Wrecking Crew level. Yeah, Wrecking Crew is yeah. a great stage. That's a really it, uh, old It collapses NES. just like in the game. NES deep like that, that's, a, that's a level of detail that's just crazy to me. The, the fact that they spend all this time with these beautiful homages to their games. Yeah, there's more Towers. towers. Uh, you guys think they'll bring back a photo mode in this one too? Here we go. Yeah, 100%. yeah, Great Plateau yeah. Tower. Great yeah. Plateau Tower. Yeah, That's that really cool. Goes. And like, really you, you can see like the tower blows up yeah. on top and then it rebuilds yeah. itself um, from the Sheikah Slate. Like the, uh, well, in the time we have left, we can mention some of the other games that Nintendo showed today. I thought so the many. Fire Emblem Fi game yeah. <laughs> Which must awesome. come out yes. in 2018. It must come out. <laughs> Another uh, Nintendo is defying I have, have for you. Breakfast. <laughs> yes, I know. It's like they knew I was going to say all the wrong you, things. You flipped <laughs> that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, you know, at last we heard it was supposed to come out in 2018, so I guess, it, you know, there's a slight delay, but I don't have a problem with it because it looks amazing. Obviously, they've had it cooking for quite some time now. Um, I was not expecting it to look as good as it does. And it looks like it's staying true to, you know, the core Fire Emblem gameplay that we know, all know and love, but it's expanding upon it greatly with, like, you know, an open environment to explore, yeah. like a hub world, and then... No, I love the zoom into battle. Oh, so, yeah. The yeah, it, it looks, beautiful. you know, it's a traditional map mode um, yes. you know, with the grid system, and then it zooms in, like, seamlessly into the battle. Yeah. Um, very cool. A little bit, a uh, little bit of a Fire Fire Emblem Warriors vibe with more yeah, troops totally. now on screen, right? Yep. So, like for the first time in a Fire Emblem game, when you go into a battle, you actually see the surrounding, like the entourage for each character. So it's no longer a one-on-one -on -one battle feel when you're in the in the battle sequences. It, it actually looks, looks really like a real cool. war now. Yeah. 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 It's called Fire Emblem Three Houses. I wonder if that means there'll be three versions. Faction, oh God. Yeah. Factions uh, no. or families that you can play. Maybe. As. Yeah. Maybe three three different storylines you can yeah. kind of take perspective of. I think they made a lot of by splitting the last game up into multiple, oh. so <laughs> maybe maybe they're addicted to that formula. Oh, no. yeah. I hope not. I hope it's just the three houses that are warring in the game, and you're not, mm -hmm. you don't have to buy the game three times. Yeah. All right, everybody. IGN Live at E3 2018 is presented by Sicario: Day of the Soldado, only on the big screen June 29th. All right. We're gonna take a quick break, but there's loads more mind-blowing gameplay from Nintendo coming up next, and later today we're getting our hands on Cyberpunk 2077. Don't want to miss that. Adiós. The IGN app is the best way to stay up to the minute on what you love. No matter what you play, create the custom feed and filter what you want to watch. Live streams have never been easier to find. 
With the floating video player on iOS, you can keep watching the live stream as you read other news, world premiere trailers, and the biggest games. Download the IGN app from the iOS or Android stores now. Sign up for notifications and we'll alert you the second news breaks. Not only is IGN the world's biggest media brand for games and entertainment, but we also have a team of some of the world's biggest fans of your favorite franchises. From breaking news and exclusives, never before seen looks at movies and games, to reviews, let's plays, and live streams, IGN brings you all the coverage you need no matter where you are. Whether you're on IGN.com, the IGN app, YouTube, Facebook, or Snapchat, we've always got you covered. IGN, the number one source for all games and entertainment fans worldwide. If you're not following IGN on social media, what are you waiting for? <laughs> We're bringing the memes, gameplay, custom original content, the best user-generated videos and art, and a whole lot more. Be part of the conversation throughout the year. Follow IGN on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Before you find IGN's awesome content anywhere else online, you'll find it right at home on IGN.com. With IGN First, you'll get a sneak peek at never-before-seen gameplay, exclusive insights from developers, and a whole lot more. NVC Live brings you IGN's Nintendo podcast up close and personal. Engage with other viewers, ask our NVC hosts your burning questions, and become a part of the show. Don't miss out. Find everything first on IGN.com. Welcome back to IGN Live at E3 2018, the next best thing to actually being here. Just sit back, relax, and we'll bring E3 to you. We've got Hitman 2 in a bit and a look at Ghosts of Tsushima after that. And be sure to stick around for the Fortnite 50v50 Pro-Am at 4 p.m. It's going to be epic. Have thoughts on E3? Well, join the conversation already by tagging us at IGN and using the hashtag E3 2018. Now, let's welcome IGN's Philip Mewson and Daniel from Nintendo to help us walk through Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Welcome yes. to Dajun Stage. Thank you, yeah, thank you guys. Um, I, as you, I heard you guys talking earlier, you guys got a chance to see the Nintendo yeah. Direct and yep. all that wonderful tuned stuff in, in yeah. there. Oh yeah. So if you guys, I assume you guys were excited for all the things yes. you saw there. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Any big surprise you guys were, what was your, what was your guys biggest surprise out of the whole thing from there? Probably just that the entire roster of Smash yeah, yeah. characters the is entire returning. Roster. Yeah, I was oh, not sure. expecting that at all. Yeah, yeah. it was a big surprise. Very the cool, yeah. So many different stages in there as well. The yep. different stages are gonna be showing in there, some new stages as well with more A Towers. Um, all that stuff too, like and going through the whole roster was great. Seeing in the direct as well, like how you go through all the different characters, all through one through what over sixty different characters in the game to play as well. Yep. Um, explaining all the Echo Fighters as well, like the difference with the Echo Fighters, introducing Daisy, mm -hmm. Ridley, um, and uh, the Inkling character to see action for the first time, which is really great too. So yeah, yeah it's been a lot of fun. Can you talk a little bit, about, a little bit about the Echo Fighters and how that how that works? Yeah, so the Echo Fighters, um, people from other ports, so like with Marth, you've got Lucina, and then the same, you got Pit and Dark and Dark Pit or Pit Two, if people remember mm -hmm. the game. Uh, yeah, it's kind of similar move sets, but like there's some alteration between them as well. Mm -hmm. Similar, we are going to have with Peach and now with Daisy as well, that being that new character. That they'll they'll, look, they'll play similar. But there'll be little differences between them that kind of will change how you actually play with them in the game. Mm -hmm. But mechanically, they do play pretty much identically. Pretty similar, yeah. But there's like those okay. little subtle differences. Like if you play with Lucina and Marth, like the sword tip is a little bit different. Sometimes there are those subtle differences that can change how you play the game. Okay. But you have to choose how you how you want to enjoy those characters. Okay. So I know that the direct touched on uh, dashing a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering. I gotta ask: Is wave dashing making a return Ooh. in Smash Brothers Ultimate? <laughs> Ooh, you'll have to stay tuned for that. You have to try. You know, so I'm not going into too much right now. But yeah, okay. it's. It, there, there's different combination. You saw they talked about like dashing in general, canceling out, um, being able to like charge in midair with like with uh, with Samus. All those different subtle things for each character to kind of create a lot of differences than what you've seen in the past. Okay. So yeah, those will have to, it'll be interesting to see how people start breaking this game down and start yeah. figuring out what's going on. And even Sakurai said like the game is still in development, so things could from what you see here at E3 could still change mm -hmm. when we get to before we get to the December 7th launch date as well. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. That makes sense. I mean, it's definitely going to be the first thing I try as soon as <laughs> I get my hands on it. So I'll let you guys know. Um, 
Um, but um, yeah, so we, we did see a lot of stuff. There was a lot of information yes. giving, given during the direct. Um, but I'm still wondering, uh, as far as modes are concerned, can we expect uh, a single player experience in some shape or form? Sad, right, right now at E3, we're just showing off the, the actual initial oh, gameplay. Okay. But there will be more information coming out down the line, and for sure. And there will be I'm, there will be some kinds of modes, different things. But we'll have to wait for that information as we decide to reveal that leading up again to back that to the launch date later on. Yeah. I'm sure Sakurai will have a lot of stuff to share as we get closer to that date as well. Absolutely. But yeah, but right now we've been mainly showing which the show floor opens. I, the show floor I think just opened actually, so I'm sure people are now now getting their hands in the game and getting a chance yeah. to just play that four player smash that we have going on on the booth right now and getting their chance to play with the Switch Pro controller and see how that feels playing this game mm -hmm. versus the GameCube controller. So it's a nice combination to see. So on, on the topic of the GameCube controller, uh, you did say that it, you are allowing, or it, Smash Ultimate will have GameCube controller support mm -hmm. as well. Yes. So does that mean it'll work with WaveBirds and, and everything, all GameCube controllers that we know of? To, yeah, to my understanding, it'll work with the old adap the, the adapter that came out from before. You'll be able to use that adapter that you okay. used for the Wii U. You'll be able to use that adapter here. Perfect. And there should be, uh, the adapter will still be available for people to purchase as well to keep going forward with that. Awesome. So, Very yeah. cool. Are adapters going back into production, or or do you think there's enough around for uh, <laughs> for people to buy? I'm sure we'll find ways to make sure everyone's able to get their hands on it if they want to to get a chance to play with that as well. So yeah, it'll be exciting for that. And we even showed that new Smash controller as well in the direct also. Yeah. Oh, so uh, that's so that's yeah, a thing. Yeah, different design. You saw the logos that's a what bit I was different. Yeah. It's gonna be something new or not? Yeah. yeah it's, it's a different, little different design. The logo's a bit different to represent the S Super Smash Ultimate. Okay. Uh, so that's kind of the scenario going on with that one. Does as that well. go on sale with? With the game, is that available day one or still? Haven't got so much information. Yeah, There's so many things know, to come out. I know, I know. I know so many things to learn about the game still going out with all that as well. Is it a wired controller or is it all? There's a wire coming out of it so far. Yeah. Okay. I'll have more details on exactly how that all falls. Ah, uh, okay. Later on. Uh, okay. Sorry, we're probably gonna ask. <laughs> no, a no, lot no of please. Questions that's the whole answer. point. Is the whole thing is a good chance to ask those questions, see those things, what's going on with that. Even like the amiibo being coming back as well. That they're, that they're gonna make amiibo for right. all of the fighters that yeah. weren't in. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, they're going to go back and make the Amiibo, including Ridley, Inkling, well, Inkling's already out, Daisy as well, so have those other uh, Amiibo characters yeah. to use as well. You shoot off the Ridley Amiibo. Yes. Earlier, uh, yes. during the Treehouse Live, <laughs> looks very, very cool. I barely, I've only I've only seen it, and I've never actually seen it myself. Oh, you haven't so actually. Kinda, yeah, close, not, yeah. I haven't touched it. That was like the first time it was yeah. being shown uh, yeah. on the Treehouse Live, so it's nice to see that being shown off over there. Can you talk about bringing Ridley into the game? I, yeah, no, uh, they talked a bit too, like Ridley's just the new character they brought in, a whole new moveset. I know a lot of people were kind of surprised to see Ridley be the one being popped into the game. Yeah. This is the intro sequence right there, which is... I would watch this movie, by the way. I know, it was kind of dark, it was yeah. kind of dark seeing like how Ridley basically just comes in and starts taking out Mega yeah. Man and Mario from the side. <laughs> but no, seeing Ridley come in, I mean, he, w he, was in the pre he was in Super Smash for Wii U in, in some aspects as a character kind of popping in before, but now to getting a chance to control it. Um, so it's a whole just new character set of how that character plays out. I mean, even how, the tail how Ridley's tail works and has like that certain location where it actually does more damage if you get it yeah. perfectly matched up versus not not lining properly. And we can just see how that goes um, later on. Um, I know uh, I think like Nate was playing against Ridley earlier uh, with Samus. Yeah. Uh, and seeing how that, and it was a perfect matchup to see those two going at it with each other. So yeah. And then can you talk about the uh, amiibo functionality in the game? Well, as so the amiibo functionality, it'll look similar to what you saw for the Wii U, like the FP, the right. FP more, so you can kind of start training up your hero, training okay. up your amiibo character that way, and we'll see what other details come out later on as well. Regarding like how those amiibo function also yeah. in the game, so yeah. What about unlocking characters? I know uh, they were saying that they want you to feel like you're constantly unlocking yes, new the characters, unlock. right? Um, and that's still, yeah. Again, like, he's still working on that's going to exactly flow up. But the idea is that there are, as says, there are over 60 characters in the game. Yeah. They do want to start with something kind of a smaller set and let you yeah. kind of feel like you're always accomplishing something new and getting these new characters. You're having this huge collection of characters you'll have access to in the game as you will. So when you, when you start a new game, you start with the original six and you work your way up to, is it 64 characters in total in, in this one? Well, so far, we, we mean, they went through the characters that are going to be available so right, far. Right, right. There's over 60, but there could be new fighters coming out eventually. So there's, the roster's not fully it's locked. It's ever-expanding. It's ever-expanding yes, as it yes. is in okay. that situation as well. So we'll see where that ends up going okay. with all those different fighters. But stuff. you do start with the core uh, We don't know characters. what the core number is yet. Okay. I mean, they kind of showed an image and they said it may start. He kind of, it was kind of, if you listen to the right, direct, right. it's like not, it's not locked, locked exactly. Will it be 18 characters, 20? We'll see where it comes out when it gets to that, okay. closer to that launch date and seeing what comes out of that whole thing as well. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're excited for that. Then how are you unlocking characters? That's something we'll have to stay tuned for uh, information. I know. Like, <laughs> yeah, because right, even right now, the demo we have, which we'll get to in just a few minutes as yeah. well, is just really focused on having that core Smash experience of just playing with up to, uh, we're showing mainly with four players, and we'll be showing that a little bit too. And then those even even in the booth, there's a player you can play for two one-on-one -on -one as well. There'll be an area to play one-on-one. -on -one I see. Or a player with four. But up to eight. You can play yeah, up to eight as well say. with those huge stages as well. Yeah. 
Uh, can you talk about if there are any like new items? I, I we did see like a fake smash uh, ball. The fake smash ball. The yeah. Fake, yeah finally, there is that ball too, and it, um, it's interesting because when you start when you start seeing it, it, there is some subtle differences to how it visually looks. But it's interesting because if there's see, if people aren't in the crazy mayhem that's happening, you're playing with like four, or six, even just one on one, and that item pops up, it's like you might just react to go get it, and then if you get it wrong, it's a fake one. It just explodes on you and takes you out of the, <laughs> takes you out of that. Um, they showed the there's a black hole item that's a little bit different as well that was right. shown as there. Right. So there's some new items that will be in the game, um, and the assist trophies. They brought some other some new people back in as well, um, some new characters in the assist trophy, and even how the assist trophies now can take KOs. Mm -hmm. Is another thing too. You can knock them out as well and get a KO for yourself to help you in that scoring. Not all of the assist but some of these assist trophies can be actually knocked out. Okay. Which will be changing that up a lot also. So obviously you've been playing the game for a little while. A little now. while, yeah, a yes. little while, yes. <laughs> so who do you prefer um, between Ridley and the Inklings? Do you, Ooh, do you like Inklings? Different or styles. Yeah. Um, I'm a huge, I'm a huge Splatoon fan. <laughs> so Splatoon shirt, yeah. I'm a huge yeah. Splatoon fan. So yeah, no, the Inkling character is a lot of fun. Um, especially uh, how you have to constantly reload its ink all the time. Yes. But you're able to use the splatter shot junior when you hit someone, it takes damage. Then some, you can start doing some interesting combos, like rolling with the with the splat roller, and then actually jump, canceling out of that, and just turning on with the ink, the paintbrush, and just whacking someone back. <laughs> so you start getting really into that. But you always want to be inking people, and then you have to always worry about reloading it. And all the moves you use use up the inklings ink. Oh wow. So you have to always be conscious of that as well. And yeah. Trying to use that. It looks like the matches can get incredibly messy when you're using inklings. Like ink yeah. Going just going all over the place, uh, and it's cool how the ink actually gets on other characters as well. Yes, the ink, so and, and they take more damage. Right, right. That. So that's exactly. a huge thing for that. They even showed in the direct that one sequence you saw Moray Towers mm -hmm. um, with eight inklings going at yeah. the same time, and it was just pandemonium all over the screen. Uh, I can't wait for that. Seeing how that plays out. I think we're going to bring up a live gameplay demo oh, right here, sweet. so we'll see which fighters they pick and which level they pick. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Inkling Ganondorf, Samus, and I can hear. I can hear. Yes. So and, uh, all the characters. Yeah, uh, even. Hmm? Which level is this? This is uh, Battlefield. Okay. Battlefield, um, which, yeah, this is one of the classic stages that people like a lot. Um, and even the booth is actually even set up to look like this, also. Okay. Um, what's cool about Ganondorf, too, who's shown up in here, Ganondorf is in the Ocarina of Time outfit, has a sword now popping out, so it's not just him with his giant fists. So it's nice seeing that change up there as well. You can see the Inkling character right there with his different outfits. The Inkling's actually kind of doing its thing as well. There's a splat roller. Just crazy panda moving on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I liked a bunch of the new the new stages you were showing off earlier. Yes. From like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Breath of the Wild's in there. So we'll show that as well for sure. We'll get a chance to show that also. The the Moray Towers, um, the Great Plateau Tower. That's Samus' final smash. Oof. And then Ganondorf using the giant sword. Yeah, and they even have some of those slow-mo finishing moves if you get that kind of KO. So, like, you kind of, you notice that for a little Mac had that right. with this yeah. KO. But now in some of them, you get that slow motion kind of, that, that satisfaction yeah, of like sure. taking somebody completely off the stage and really knocking them out completely. I think during the presentation, uh, they were saying they're trying to sort of focus the final smashes a little bit so that they're a little yeah. bit, like, don't take up too much time. Too much time, yeah, yeah. They're trying to make it so the action doesn't get broken yeah. out of it too much. The yeah. overall game just has a lot faster pacing. Okay. So it's kind of almost more rewarding. You want to be more aggressive, not be as defensive in the game. Um, even like with shielding, when you're shielding as well, um, if you keep dodging back and forth, it becomes less efficient the more times you keep going back and forth. So you actually, the, the, more, the time of invulnerability is less. You take a little more time to recover out of it. Sure. So it's really kind of, make, you want to be that guy attacking. You want to be going after those smashes. So during our uh, pre-show, we were discussing a little bit about what this smash uh, would be more similar to, like, as, as far as, like, would this be, like, melee? Would this be, like, brawl? <laughs> um, what would you say? Would you say this kind of, like, lives li lives in its own world? It's its own thing? It lives in its own world. Yeah. I mean, having all the fighters in there, having all those different fighters in right. there, and just the speed and how those little changes of every character is getting those tweaks in them will change how everyone plays through the game. So it'll just be interesting to see how people take on that and feel how that game builds into that. And Ganondorf won. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, Ganondorf won. Of course he's going to win. Yes. Uh, all right, we are going to have show a little bit more gameplay yeah. after we uh, come back from the break. Uh, Philip, who, who do you hope they pick to play us? Uh, I want to see Ridley in there. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we'll get some Ridley in the next match. We'll get really in the next match. A, yeah. requ a request for uh, Ridley in uh, which stage? You want to see that uh, Breath of the Wild stage? Yeah, do Breath the Breath of the Wild, of the Wild stage. Right. Hopefully we can we'll see some Ridley in Breath of the Wild. First, we've got to take a break. But we've got more from Nintendo and later Just Cause 4, so don't go anywhere. The IGN app is the best way to stay up to the minute on what you love. 
No matter what you play, create the custom feed and filter what you want to watch. Live streams have never been easier to find. With the floating video player on iOS, you can keep watching the live stream as you read other news. World premiere trailers and the biggest games. Download the IGN app from the iOS or Android stores now. Sign up for notifications and we'll alert you the second news breaks. Not only is IGN the world's biggest media brand for games and entertainment, but we also have a team of some of the world's biggest fans of your favorite franchises. From breaking news and exclusives, never before seen looks at movies and games, to reviews, let's plays, and live streams, IGN brings you all the coverage you need no matter where you are. Whether you're on IGN.com, the IGN app, YouTube, Facebook, or Snapchat, we've always got you covered. IGN, the number one source for all games and entertainment fans worldwide. If you're not following IGN on social media, what are you waiting for? We're bringing the memes, gameplay, custom original content, the best user-generated videos and art, and a whole lot more. Be part of the conversation throughout the year. Follow IGN on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Before you find IGN's awesome content anywhere else online, you'll find it right at home on IGN.com. With IGN First, you'll get a sneak peek at never-before-seen gameplay, exclusive insights from developers, and a whole lot more. NVC Live brings you IGN's Nintendo podcast up close and personal. Engage with other viewers, ask our NVC hosts your burning questions, and become a part of the show. Don't miss out. Find everything first on IGN.com. Welcome back to IGN Live at E3 2018, the only place to see all the biggest games the second they drop the show. Hit us up on Twitter by tagging us at IGN using the hashtag E3 2018 to let us know what you think about all things E3. Now, let's welcome back Philip Mewson and Daniel from Nintendo for more on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm glad we finally know the title. I know, so yeah, Ultimate, yeah. I didn't, that was a, something we had to keep secret for a long time. I didn't yeah. even know the title at first while I was like, here's the demo and you gotta yeah, play yeah. it. I'm like, okay. And then <laughs> eventually got to know the title and it's been just exciting because it is like the, and, and the name is really appropriate. Yeah. I mean, that huge roster yeah. and so many different franchises being brought into the mix. Yeah. One of our biggest crossovers of all time for Nintendo. So it's just great seeing that happen. Yeah, we're gonna jump into some more gameplay here and see who they picked this time. Oh, so there's, oh yeah, we can go to the gameplay, hopefully. Oh, yeah, oh, no. this is, uh, this is this the is demo Mario from earlier. off his coolness. But we will be jumping into some more <laughs> gameplay. Uh, the ro f every fighter who's ever been in Smash yes. Bros. before. Yes. So you're revisiting some fighters that you, that you haven't... Uh, seen in a while. Yeah, yeah, seen in a while. Was that they need some, like... Dusting off and a uh, little like yeah, all I mean like wolves in polishing. there. I mean, there's all these yeah. all this, the whole roster is just massive and yeah, it's just nice bringing that that huge collection and let giving people that satisfaction of really being able to choose anyone they want. Oh, oh we didn't we choose we didn't choose the plateau. We went with more eight okay. towers. Okay, cool. but we did get Ridley. We did get Ridley. Good, good. Cool new level. So Ridley's in there. So if we get a chance to see what Ridley can do down there as player two. So I'm wondering like with with all that's going on and with this many characters in the game, how difficult was it for the developers to just balance this game and make sure that it all just worked well together. He's still working on it. I mean, the game's not even yeah. out yet, so I mean, he's gonna, I'm sure he's gonna be tweaking this thing and like, refining it the whole way through. Uh, Do you know if uh, Nintendo uh, plans like to support it as heavily post-launch as they did with games like uh, Splatoon 2 and ARMS? We'll have more information to talk about that in the future, but yeah, that'll okay. be something we'll be doing too. Okay. I mean, yeah, but I mean, it will be something you can play online too. That's the other factor. You'll be able to have a chance to play this game online um, using the Switch Online service as well. It'll be great. So people have a chance to really get excited to play this, not just at home, which is also tons of fun, but play with people online, get competitive. Yeah, of competitive. <laughs> yeah, the on online service is launching in September. Yeah. So that'll be ready to be running. locked and loaded. And this will just jump on. This comes in December. Get people excited for that as well. Do you know if the eight player mode is going to be available for online as well? Or is it going to be limited to four players online? Ooh. I will have to double. I don't want to give a false answer. So I will double check on that. And get back to you on that one okay. for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it does support eight players. Um, but I will double check on the online stuff and get back to you on that one for sure. I'm not, I'm not sure how that landed exactly. So, 
So we've, we're seeing some pretty nice graphical enhancements. Uh, oh, here. yeah. Yeah, the game looks miles better than it did on Wii U. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is really cool. Like, what kind of stuff do you know uh, has improved? Uh, we saw it in one of the levels, like, water looks way, way more defined. That's yeah. everything. It's just the water. Even just looking at Mori Towers, even just the depth, you can see the depth of the field. Even right. the characters, just their emotions, like, seeing how they take damage, like, the reaction. Even, like, the detail you have mentioned before with Olimar's, like, helmet breaking. Yes. Like, yeah. there's these little minor details, but it just makes everything just feel more like more immersive that you're actually getting a chance to really control these characters have fun with what they do it's very oh. cool. very very cool the giant bowser yeah. <laughs> the final smash from bowser yep from uh, uh yeah bowser from uh, yoshi's island from correctly yeah. yeah it's his big giant form from that version as well and then see how ridley does in this one really looks like a lot of fun i, I haven't I haven't, I haven't played as i played more with inkling than ridley which i'm excited for uh i haven't played as much ridley but ridley's a ton of fun to play with so far what would you say ridley's play style is like Ooh. Kind of a combination of... I'm thinking, like... Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, he's a bigger-sized character, so a little more like probably like Ganondorf. Like uh, Ganondorf Luke set, but also to put that, that, with that with that tail, he kind of has almost like a sword element to him yeah. as well. So it's kind of a combination of those two things. Um, kind of like more like Marth in that combo. Um, again, I'm sure once people start playing, I'm just going to have their own comparison way of describing, oh, it actually feels more like these three characters or yeah. whatever play styles fit in those situations. So everyone will kind of choose what they want to differently for that. So you've got... Every fighter yep. ever. Do you have every stage ever? We haven't gotten to that all yet, but there's a lot of there will be a lot of stages so far. Yeah. We haven't gotten not ever. We'll see which stages make it into the final one. Yeah, we saw some uh, 3DS stages coming over to this that yeah, we hadn't awesome. seen before. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So they're gonna be they're gonna be pulling stages from all the from the past. Or probably there'll be new stages as well. So just have to wait and see what is that final compilation gonna be, yeah. okay. um, and how big will it be? And then as it, there's the battlefield form or the Omega forms for the stages that will be available. Right. So people who, people who want that clean Omega form with no platforms at all, mm -hmm. that's your style. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of platforms. Uh, <laughs> I like just the constant. Level level changing in that situation as well, so it makes it a lot more fun to play off that one as well. How do you feel about items? That's a different, it, to me, on, I, I go both ways. Yeah. Um, depends on who you're playing with. I mean, a lot of times when you're playing with friends casually, um, it's a lot of fun to play um, with items who people who don't play as often, so yeah. you can kind of feel, it helps create that equilibrium. Yeah. Uh, and then in the previous ones you can mod, oh, sorry, the tower. Yeah, seeing the, the <laughs> Breath of the Wild stage here. Yes, this is the, the Great Plateau Tower. Um, you can see, yeah, even bring up the graphic point. You can see everything happening in the yeah. background. Um, sometimes the old man actually kind of flies around in the background. Is that randomized? Or that, yeah, he kind of appears. Yeah, he just kind of does his own oh. thing. Uh, he'll kind of show up there. It's breakable. Wow. Okay. That's not part of more <laughs> than the giant building he popped up. Um, but yeah, the destructible uh, environments and all that stuff will happen. And then it'll even come, the tower will actually rebuild itself back into the game. Uh, so we see Link uh, there in the game right yes, now. Yes, Champion Link. Re yeah, Breath of the Wild Link, Champion Link. Uh, so from a mechanic standpoint, does he play the same way he did in previous Smash Brothers? Or similarly but differently? Um, there's some things you notice too, like when he does like his front of like he does the spin move, like it's kind of more like waving up and down to an extent. Um, also, if you have zero, if you have no damage, which is kind of interesting with him, he actually has a projectile with the sword, okay. kind of mimicking if you were at full health. Right, Breath right. Of the Wild, you actually have a projectile. Fully with powered firearm. master sword. Yeah, yep. fully powered master sword. Um, it does use the rune bombs, which are now remote detonated. Oh wow! So it's changed a bit now. The bombs right. are more remote detonated. You actually can actually throw the bomb. People can juggle it back and forth for a while until you actually decide to make it explode. So those are little subtle mechanical changes that'll be in the game uh, that people get the chance to experience and see how they feel about that. Any more rune spells in the game from Link? Uh, there's, the, there's the bomb. Is there stasis? No. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That would be perfect. <laughs> stasis behind that. No, just the rune bomb for what we're showing right now. Yeah. Uh, and how that plays that one as well. But yeah, it just changes up and everything like that. You can even see other towers in the distance. Ganon's uh, castle in the distance. Yes, Ganon's castle. Oh, that's not happening. Crazy. I, I just enjoy. Well, I, I, we were playing the game even earlier before we came on. Just practicing. Yeah. So, like, I just lost track of time. We're just practicing yeah. <laughs> on the side while well, as we guys are getting started. It's just. Stuff. It's so cool to finally see it in action. You know yeah. what I mean? Because we've been just talking about this ever since it was announced for months now, mm -hmm. and yeah. to finally have a title for it and see gameplay and see all the characters that yeah. we know and love back in it is just such an exciting experience, I think, for us all. So. No, and then the Pro Control. I, 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 didn't, I wasn't sure how I would feel playing with the Pro yeah. Control for the first time. Yeah. I, 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 much, I love the game controller. It's been one of my favorite controllers for playing Smash all the time. The Pro Controller is freaking awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, it feels just feels super comfortable. has all that stuff in there, and it's just a great game to play as well. Awesome, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to test it out on both. 
Yeah. So it's also exciting that it's uh, a brand new Smash Brothers game because there was some question about yeah. are they going to port the Wii port U the version, Wii U version, which yeah. wouldn't have been terrible. Uh, obviously, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is fantastic on Switch, but knowing that's a brand new game, that's that's pretty exciting. Brand new yeah. game where he's going to have to start. He's, that's why he had the other you brought up. He has to rebalance all those characters. How's he going to balance them all out? What's it going to finally be in the final version? Where are people going to choose the most to play? Like mm. people start doing those tiers, the tiering of what the characters are. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about? Um, I know the game's still in yeah. development, obviously, but can you talk a little bit about frame rate and resolution? Uh, are we expecting 60 frames per second, 1080p while docked? Uh, ooh, we haven't. Yeah, that's more detail to come in the future. We haven't gone through okay. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure gonna, that, that's always a wonderful goal to have. Is you get that 1080p, get that pure fluidity of what goes on. So yeah, we'll see where we end up with that one as we get further down the line, closer to launch. What about like a split Joy-Con play in tabletop mode mm -hmm. off of, on the Switch on a single Switch? Right now possible? we're just showing with the Pro Controller and okay. and, and the and, and the GameCube controller right now for sure. But yeah, no, we'll get into that stuff later on down the line for sure. Yeah. And we'll get more detail going on. That. I know I feel bad giving all these like cryptic answers like oh we got more to show <laughs> I know everyone's so excited they want like everything now yeah. but we still have to wait like we're June now we still got like what five months exactly yeah, exactly, yeah. Before so we you have to time the there's a little bit of runway it's a long runway <laughs> you to sort of dole out more information dole out stuff get people excited um, see what else they're up to announce maybe Anything announce some trophies, new characters characters yeah. stages yeah. anything gameplay mechanic changes I'm sure people will be excited to find out what those are um, start seeing what those amiibo look like yeah oh now we're on the we're in a new match here and we get, uh, see the ice climbers ah it's great. I'm a huge fan of Ice Climbers, yeah. seeing Nana and Popo, or Popo and Nana, however you want to start saying their names. Um, and there's all the different outfits as well, too, they were showing off as well. Um, I think we, everyone's playing the classrooms right now, but you can play with like Mario in his wedding outfit from, uh, yeah, from, from Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. Yeah. Um, just those different. Oh, he's playing, actually, we have Mario outfit in his wedding outfit right now. Yeah. Uh, also the construction outfit. Yeah, construction outfit from, yes, from Super Mario Maker. Uh, and then Cappy's in here. Yeah. Right? It, 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 what's Cappy's function? It's good. Right now, what we're showing so far, you can see Cappy on there. We're not really going into too much detail okay. on They've just changed the moveset in any way beyond that. But you should be able to possess <laughs> to control the other players. Just take take the control player. the other players. Oh yeah. But then what does Mario do? He just stands he there? He stands there and just watches. He <laughs> controls them. No, does he? He, like, he like, inhabits their, he their body, right? them, yeah. He comes, what does the other player do then? If that, that's, I don't yeah, know. It'd be such now. a weird scenario. What would happen in that, in that, in that world? Happy to be a consultant. I know. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> but no, yeah, it's just fun just seeing all this crazy mayhem going on. This one. So the game's playable at your booth? Yeah, play on the booth uh, for sure. Are you having any uh, competitions, any tournaments? Uh, uh, there, there, there's on a live stream, we do have the Invitational. We invited right. several of those Smash players there. That's going on later tonight. Um, in the booth itself, though, they even designed a cool setup of uh, there's a For Glory kind of line area where you, you'll be eight people walk up in there. They each play one-on-one. -on -one. If you win, you go to the next. And it's actually tiered. Oh, cool. That's very cool. So you move up to the next tier, and then you go to the final tier, and then you get better swag as you go up, oh, that's up cool. the tier scale. Nice. So people will be excited to check that out. Are you going to be airing any of those on Trios Live? Or? The tr the, I don't know if they're going down to that area to Trios Live. They might, they'll be talking about for sure, but uh, the main one will be the Invitational. That's where you see those really competitive players. Which I'm intrigued to see how those guys start really breaking this game apart. They're, they're, they're amazing players. You see yeah. these guys play, and they start breaking this thing apart like instantaneously to see what's going on in that. Well, my, I think my favorite thing about the whole Smash Bros. series is just like, the, it's like, a love letter to Nintendo fans. There's just so much in there, and it's not even the obvious stuff. It's like really deep cuts, like Mr. Game & Watch, yeah. oh, Mr. a Game wrecking crew great. level. Like, not many Nintendo fans today even remember wrecking no. crew. Like, I played well, it as a kid. So it, I was, was kind of happy the direct they showed the yeah. Game & Watch, and I'm like, I don't know if yeah. any people, the, the younger people have no I idea what that even is. When you <laughs> or see they, it, you know? they only know it from Smash Brothers. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, that, that, actually, that was a big benefit for Fire Emblem for a lot of people yeah. back in the day, that Fire Emblem from Smash was got people like, what is Fire Emblem? It was much more popular in Japan at the time, and then seeing how Fire Emblem got more popular in Smash, it helped bring a lot more people into that fold when the guys got bigger here. Yeah. Another game that we showed off as well, which I'm excited for. Right, so, yeah. 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 For sure. So, Philip, as uh, IGN's Nintendo editor, ah. you've just gotten a look at what your job is for yeah. the rest of 2018. Yeah. You have to match every character. Yeah. I wow. totally plan on it. I cannot wait to get started and yeah. finally get my hands on it. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be great. What do you think about Smash, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? What's got you excited? Oh, man, everything, everything. I'm so happy that all my favorite characters are coming back. I'm so happy that I'm finally going to get a chance to play it, uh, which is awesome. And, um, you know, everything about it just screams awesome so I'm really really excited I think uh, you know from what I've seen it looks like it's gearing up to be a really really strong uh, game for Nintendo if not the strongest game of the year so yeah yeah we'll see. I'm excited for that too and as you said before I mean it's also like it's a love you said it's kind of a love letter all those fans but it's yeah. like people who are new never jumped in casual players the super competitive I just like the fact that Smash falls in that realm that you sit on the couch play with a bunch of friends play online however you want to do it it's just really exciting to have that opportunity again yeah. to just yeah. relive like I remember playing college a lot of it I played Smash yeah, a ton in exactly. college yeah <laughs> 
Well, thank you so much for being a Super Smash Brothers Ultimate by the show. You guys can just leave the build here and we'll... We can leave it oh, here. Yeah, yeah just fine. leave it Sarah here. Sarah will just leave it here. She's fine with leaving. We'll get it back behind. to you guys later on tonight yeah. after I school Philip on a couple <laughs> matches. That would never happen, <laughs> by the way. That would never happen. Totally joking. Who's the better player, actually, between Definitely Philip. It's probably me. Yeah. Yeah. Are you the best one here at IGN, then? Uh, no, no. Ooh, definitely no. not, no. We have... Uh, one of our production crew members, Alexio, I'm yeah. going to give him a shout out. He is definitely the yeah. best Smash player. Like, hands down. Like, that was like instantaneous answer. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. it is known among our It office. is known. <laughs> we do not go against Alexio. It is known. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. Thank you so much for coming sure, by. Of course. Yeah, it's show. All right. Break time. But Just Cause 4 is up next. Then a look at Hitman 2. And we're whipping out the katanas for a little Ghost of Tsushima this afternoon. So prepare yourselves in whatever manner you see fit. Not only is IGN the world's biggest media brand for games and entertainment, but we also have a team of some of the world's biggest fans of your favorite franchises. From breaking news and exclusives, never before seen looks at movies and games, to reviews, let's plays, and live streams, IGN brings you all the coverage you need no matter where you are. Whether you're on IGN.com, the IGN app, YouTube, Facebook, or Snapchat, we've always got you covered. IGN, the number one source for all games and entertainment fans worldwide. Before you find IGN's awesome content anywhere else online, you'll find it right at home on IGN.com. With IGN First, you'll get a sneak peek at never-before-seen gameplay, exclusive insights from developers, and a whole lot more. NVC Live brings you IGN's Nintendo podcast up close and personal. Engage with other viewers, ask our NVC hosts your burning questions, and become a part of the show. Don't miss out. Find everything first on IGN.com. If you're not following IGN on social media, what are you waiting for? We're bringing the memes, gameplay, custom original content, the best user-generated videos and art, and a whole lot more. Be part of the conversation throughout the year. Follow IGN on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The IGN app is the best way to stay up to the minute on what you love. No matter what you play, create the custom feed and filter what you want to watch. Live streams have never been easier to find. With a floating video player on iOS, you can keep watching the live stream as you read other news. World premiere trailers and the biggest games. Download the IGN app from the iOS or Android stores now. Sign up for notifications and we'll alert you the second news breaks. We're back, live from E3 2018 with all the breaking news, sneak peeks, and exclusive gameplay you can handle. Speaking of which, let's welcome game director Francesco to show us what kind of mayhem we can look forward to unleashing in Just Cause 4. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming by the uh, set here. I'm Thanks really excited for, for this game. Uh, big Just Cause fan myself. What have you got in store for us with Just Cause 4? 